Alex, where I'm forging the past into the future. <laughs> uh, digging through my stuff, trying to find some parts for my uh, uh, scale builds of gentlemen. Uh, I've been looking for some parts. And by the way, I'm looking for a 32 Vicky hood. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I got one. I can't find it. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I come across uh, a few magazines. And uh, this was so cool, I, I got to show it. So if you got a few minutes, grab a cup of coffee, put me on hold, and come right back. This thing is really, really cool. This is an August 1963 Rod and Custom, uh, 35 cents at the at the at the rag store, or whatever you want to call it back then. And the cool thing about it is, it's got all kinds of model car stuff in it. it actually, has more model car stuff in it than it does real car stuff. That was that really was really cool for me. So. And it's got a bunch of advertisement in it that you just got to see. So let's check it out, all right? First off, let me move this thing around a little bit. This is Ed Roth's T-shirts. All these different T-shirts you could get for $1.98. I mean, Mr. Cool, that's, that's super sharp, man. I like this one here, too. Super, super neat stuff. Man, the guy was punching out some really neat stuff. Love the Frankenstein guy. So this was 1963. So here's here, here's something cool. J.C. Whitney. Everybody remembers J.C. Whitney, right? Well, let me try and do this. Uh, fender skirts were $9.95 for fender skirts. Anything that you could come up with. The shag carpet goes in the package tray in the rear window. $5.25. Tachometers. 20 bucks. Of course, there's no name, but still, that's pretty neat. Uh, let's see here. No, there's no prices on that. Chrome shift knobs. $1.49 for a chrome shift knob. That was kind of cool. This one here, let me kind of mess with the camera just a little bit here. Uh, this is interesting. Right, right here, where my thumb's at. Uh, mini superchargers. I never heard of seeing such a thing, so I'm not sure how this works, but uh, looks like they're. For a single carb is ten dollars, for dual carb was twelve, and for a triple it was looked like it was for around fifteen, sixteen bucks. I can't quite make it out. So I'm thinking this had something to do with atomizing the paint or the paint, your gasoline a little bit more, uh, make it swirl. So it must be a little fan or something that that threw out the gas into your carb a little bit. I don't know. I'd never seen or heard something like that. That's kind of neat. Spark plug intensifier. <laughs> $1.98. Oh, man. Too funny. I mean, this this stuff was crazy. Now, this right here, I do remember seeing those. Those battery check caps. You took, you unscrewed your caps, and you put those in there, and that told you how much uh, battery acid was in it by the float. I remember seeing those. No name valve covers, thirteen dollars. Kind of neat. Yep, I remember that stuff. J.C. Whitney, man, I heard of. I used to order a bunch of stuff from them a long time ago. Ah, uh, Rod and Customs had, you know, the real stuff out, and then they had the model car stuff. Uh, you could subscribe to it. And let's see, what's it? Only a dollar for a year po postage. That's funny. Here's some more cool stuff. Indy wheels, sixty bucks each. Excise tax included. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, electric welders. Send two dollars. Ah, uh, let's see here. Modelers Auto World has it. Uh, Modelers Auto World. Uh, wonder if that's the same. No, it's different guys. Pretty interesting though. Moon. Get your breathers over here for six bucks a piece. A dual scoop. Remember it one into the other. Yep, I remember seeing those. Mini bikes for nine ninety five. Ninety nine ninety five. 140 bucks for a bike. Payment plans. Put $10 down, $10 a month. Big Rod and Custom. Look at that. Save up your money. Spend all of it. For $11, you could have your own Big Rod from Monogram. Wow. That's crazy. Who would have thought that? This is pretty cool. Ah. Uh, got a lot of neat stuff there. You can see that he's got four carbs on there, and he's got the uh, the fuel rod uh, rail right here on the firewall, feeding them all. Pretty cool. Just to give you guys some heads up, or you know, if you're looking for something to for the scale gentleman's build, that's how they used to do it. This is kind of neat here. Let me back this up a little way. He's uh. Pancake the hood, taking a section out of the hood and dropped it down. And uh, I can't make it out completely, but I'm thinking those are turn signals inside uh, inside the bumperettes that he's got. Uh, it's a little 44 that he's customized heavily. Looks like it's been chopped and channeled. Been cut into the fenders a little bit. Here's something that I thought was on the back end. Oh, I gotta do this on this side. The exhaust tip, it's got the bumperette made right into it. That's kind of neat. That's a neat idea. And here it is right here too. A little better shot. Amazing, huh? That's pretty cool. Love the way he's got that back when he chopped it, laid it down. That back glass. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, this is the crane cams, not the moon eyes dragster, but the crane cams dragster. Uh, I did a little bit of research on it, and it too was yellow, uh, but it didn't use the blower, it just used the injectors. So a little bit different frame and setup, so that one might be coming down the pike. <laughs> I'm really liking this one, so I could be doing this one before you know it. That's just really, really super cool. Got some good pictures on it, so... And the lettering, you know, the Crane Cam 77, it's just black letters with uh, offset on white, you know. So I've got lettering, so maybe I can come up with something like that and do that. Here's one here that I like quite a bit. He's uh, bobbed the rear uh, uh, bed on it, shortened it up quite a bit. So looks like he's taken quite a few trophies out of it, Northern California. So... Pretty neat. Quick change. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got the 59 Cadillacs, but they're cut into the bed. Kind of like the way the new Dodge trucks are. <laughs> and he's got the, the fin drums. Pretty sweet. I like it. I'm talking roll interior. Uh, let me read through here real fast, see if I can see what color it is. It doesn't say... A lot of times they'll tell you what colors these things were. And I'm not seeing it. That's too bad. Very nice truck. 29. 1929. i skip over this article. Yeah, believe it or not... This article is telling you how to remove your steel fenders so you can put on fiberglass ones. Now everybody's wanting to go just the opposite. <laughs> Funny how things change, isn't it? But neat little rod. Definitely a neat little rod. Here's one. 
pretty cool. Just a basic little hot rod. Got the spare tire on the trunk. Chrome reverse, chrome, yeah, chrome reverse on it. I don't know why that looks like it's been sectioned. Maybe, maybe it has. I don't know. Kind of looks like it has. This one here is sweet, man. Little 32 Ford with a Chevy shoved down inside it. Notice he's got the holes drilled, and he's got them drilled on on the front fenders as well. He's bobbed the rear fenders here and removed all this back in here. Uh, doesn't really look like it's been chopped. He's got the uh, firewall and dash put right in the front. But here's why. He's got the engine setting way back. Pretty cool. That is really cool. I'm liking that. Liking that way too much. Then he's got the front fenders drilled out as well. And, nope, I thought he had the front axle drilled out, but he doesn't. Pretty neat. El Prigien. I remember seeing this a few times. Uh, because you can't forget that trunk lid. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a crazy one right there. But, pretty cool. I think we're just about to get into all, all kinds of model cars here real soon. Oh, I forgot about this one. Uh, this is George Barris' little hot rod, and that's George there. Uh, there he is driving. They're check, checking how quick it is and how fast it'll stop. Looks like he's got uh, an old Hemi on there and uh, inject. Oh, uh, let's see what he's got. Oh, there's carbs. Oh, there's injectors. Yeah. There's another shot of it. Some of the specs for it. And the times. Braking distance. Pretty neat. This guy here looks like he took a 40 Ford. Nope. 41 Chevy. My bad. And uh, reworked it. I didn't see the grill. And uh, got his car in a magazine. Pretty neat. So here we go. How to chop a 40 Ford. It shows you every every everything that you need to do. How you go about it. Where you want to cut it. Then you got to take the post, you know, and cut those down as well. He's taking out each section. Then you got to widen the, or lengthen out the, the roof line, you know, because it just doesn't go straight down. Line everything up. Do a little filling. See, there's that section he's added in to stretch it out. And then they're talking here about sometimes guys will instead of put the post back in they'll leave it out and then uh, and then leave the back window post out of it too they did that quite a bit you know so I don't know the second annual scale drags all the rulings and what you need to do this was all slot car stuff kind of neat design your own car with Revell Custom Parts. This here was uh, a deal where you would cut your car out of balsa wood or something, your design. It showed you how to go about it and then put it on one of their chassis. It's just a different way of working, trying to get young modelers to try different things. So this car here is actually made out of balsa wood. Gives you the... Uh, dimensions on where you want to start out you know and then start sanding things down little tall T that looks a lot like that 122nd 132nd uh, Aurora kit to me 
but it, it's not. It's a 125th, I believe. So, pretty nice. I like that. Off the modeler's sketchboard. Looks like they're playing around with Corvettes. Everybody was customizing something somewhere. It's pretty neat. Want ads. Surfing. Design your own chassis. Here we go. Join the membership now. International Championship Model Rama. I don't see the, how much it costs, but interesting. National Auto Fair in Seattle. June 27th through the 30th. And Indianapolis, too. Nothing on there. Ed Ross, Flying Fueler. Yeah, so I just thought I'd throw that out there, guys. It was kind of neat when I found it. I got a couple more of those. Maybe I'll show them. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys swinging by. Um, just a little something, something to kind of throw out there. Uh, I thought it was pretty neat and didn't want to keep it by my, to myself. So thank you guys for stopping by. Swing on by again. I'll have some more cool stuff, I hope. Talk at you later. Bye.